to go play some place called the Drayinga Forest near Narragin, uh, in sympathy with John's interest in the uh, plant life of Western Australia. Uh, and um, this whole book was called Drayinga Dreaming. It's sort of um, in a bit of an idea of the Aboriginal thinking about a place great importance, and that happened to be one which was very important in my childhood, the Dryandra Forest. And so, um, here, uh, John edited the collection for me and wrote a very nice preface to the book, which was published earlier this year, called Dryandra Dreaming. But this is what they call the uh, title poem, the poem in the book, which corresponds to the title. Of. So, uh, Dryandra Dreaming mentions uh, monotremes, which you know, include the echidna and the platypus, and uh, numbat, which are uh, animal symbol for Western Australia, or the, uh, um, uh, the, the uh, you know, the non-bird, non-insect one. And they also mentions <coughs> parrot bush. Now, parrot bush is in fact, uh, uh, it is in fact another name for the dryandra. Uh, the dryandra has recently been re, uh, uh, not named as a banksia species, and now it's called dryandra sessilis. Um, but previously it was thought to be a separate species. Anyway, you get all about that in this little poem, which is typical of what I am fascinated by in the Dryandra Forest. Dryandra dreaming. It seemed we were a week too soon for the real rush of the wildflowers. Bungaras had barely scratched their way out of winter burrows. Mallee hens were not to be seen. And no numbats scampered across detritus of dark bark peeled from the mallee stands. So we walked through the thickets of parrot bush, Dryandra sessilis, and among palabark gums with the furious honey eaters and the odd waddling monotrem.